how to install FEEP on a Mac or a Linux uh, computer. So the first thing you need to do is have the zip file or the compressed tar file from the download site, but I have the zip file, so unzip it. So that will make a directory, version 84 in this case, so cd into version 84. Uh, first thing that's important to do is to set the environment variable for FEEP home. So let's go ahead and do that. So my working directory is here. So I'll, I'm in a bash shell, so I'll say export feep home 8 underscore 4 equals. And I'll just copy and paste this. So that sets my environment variable. You can also do it other ways. But, and now we have to do a couple of configuration steps. So let's uh, have a first quick look at makefile.in. So it tells you to set the environment variable at the top. It's going to go ahead and use the optional AR pack and libraries. And you can un you can comment these two lines out if you want. Uh, doesn't matter. I'll go ahead and build it with them. Uh, LA pack and Blazlib leave uncommented unless you have a system that doesn't have them. Um, and these are the include files. I have a 64-bit pointer machine, so I'm going to use integer 8 here. Otherwise, if you have a 32-bit pointer machine, you should use the line up above this, okay? Uh, and on the Mac, uh, I'm going to need some include files for C. So I need, in particular, I need the, the X11 libraries or include file. So I'll go ahead and, and put that line in there. In a lot of machines, you don't need to do that. You can you can start with it uncommented. If you have a build failure, then you can go ahead and uh, do it again. Um, I'm not going to worry about a parallel build, so we can leave that alone. Uh, and it already is defaulted to G Fortran and GCC, which are the compilers that I'm going to use. If you want to use the Intel compilers, you can use I4 and ICC. Uh, it's entirely up to you. Okay. And then the next thing you need to do is choose your your optimization levels. And I'm going to leave the defaults so O2 and warn all because warnings on compiles. Um, you can change these to any of these. These the other ones here are choices that are, are pretty common that people other people use. Okay, leave sources and extensions alone unless you've done something crazy. And then we have the link line, the LD options. So it's going to link on the Fortran or the, the X libraries. Laws and LA Pack, and then the math library. If you want to build the program with the JPEG libraries, you can go ahead and do that, and then you'd use this line bo below here. And it ha this is set up for the Mac, so this SWLib is a place where I've stored my JPEG libraries, but we won't worry about the JPEG options. Um, the next line is if you're doing open MPI builds for the, the NURBS, but we don't need to worry about that. So we'll leave that alone. And it defaults the archive name for me. So that's all set. Let's have a quick look at the make file itself. If we look under archive, it's going to, which is what we built first, it's going to make program elements, the plot files, the Unix files. We'll do Unix no JPEG, which is good because I didn't include the JPEG library. If you include the JPEG library, you can remove the NO here and you can just use Unix JPEG. The user files, Unix for the memory, and then the contact. Okay, so no changes there. So now we can just type make archive and it will start to build the code. Okay, the archive is built. Now I was going to do the optional AR pack. So I'm going to CD into packages and CD into AR pack and CD into archive. And I'll type make here. Make. Oops. All right, let's make install. go up one directory, make install. Okay, so that's built the ARPAC libraries. 
and I'll go into main and I'll type make feet and there we go ls and there I have my version of feep and that's how you build feep on a Mac it's the same exact thing on a Linux machine